All right, artist of the week, Renee Magritte this time. We have a wonderful artist who does lots of paintings and you'll see in his next paintings that he paints in the, in the genre of surrealism, which is all about making art that kind of looks like it came out of a dream where things blend together, but then they don't completely make logical sense. Um, this first painting of his is one of his most famous paintings, though. And, um, you know, what do you see right here? What are you looking at? What is this a painting of? Um, it's a painting of a pipe, right? But then we have these words right here, um, which mean this is not a pipe. And so what's happening right here is we have a battle, okay, based between what we see something to be and what it actually is. So, well, why isn't this a pipe? We see a pipe. It looks like a pipe. It's got, you know, it's got the color and shape and size and form of a pipe. But our words right here, remember that this is just the illusion of a pipe. Um, and this painting, therefore, kind of challenges us to look at what we're seeing, not just in paintings, but in the real world, when we look at something and yeah, we see a pair of scissors, it's a pair of scissors. And yeah, we see a human being and there's a human being. But a lot of times we say we are one thing or we, we put on a facade or an illusion of something without actually being that thing. A lot of us can say we're a good person, but are we really? So um, this painting right here, although it challenges you in terms of a painting and in terms of art, kind of might inspire you to kind of question what you see in the real world. Are you seeing an actual thing or are you seeing an illusion of something like you see here? Okay, we'll move on to his more surrealist paintings. Obviously here, people's heads aren't just a big orange. Okay, but this is a fun kind of a uh, funky little uh, whimsical surrealist painting here that he's well known for, as well as some of these other paintings. You might've seen something like this before. Okay. Um, and what you'll see in this painting, he has kind of a sense of humor and a cleverness to him and a wit. So typically when an artist is painting like Rene Magritte painted himself painting something, okay? Um, a lot of times for like a self-portrait or something, we will put a mirror next to ourselves or whatever object we want to paint, we put it next to ourselves so we can look at it and draw it and paint it according to how we see. Clearly, we have an egg on the table, and yet he's painting it as a bird. <laughs> so we have that little cleverness as if the egg already hatched and turned into a full-fledged bird. So again, um, we have a cleverness, a funniness to this, a sense of humor, um, but we also have like questioning, why Why did he choose to do this painting? Why did he choose to paint himself painting an egg as painting a bird? <sighs> okay. Every time I see this painting, I think it looks like those little chapstick balls. We <laughs> um, have more of his surrealist paintings. And again, we have surrealist, clever, humorous paintings that help you question why the artist is painting what they're painting. Clearly, we have a painting of a, a man, you know, sitting on a little grass hill. Um, and we see his body, we see his legs, his arms, his hat and everything. But inside the man, his body is made up of this birdcage. What is this saying about this man? What is Magritte trying to say? Is he somebody who feels trapped and hopes like to be set free like these birds? I don't know. Okay. Now, um, this, again, we have the surrealist painting. What doesn't make sense here? You know, think about it. We have a dark house illuminated by this one light, and yet it's a bright, sunny day in the rest of the picture. So this picture actually looks almost like a photoshopped picture that we'd see nowadays, but this is a painting. So imagine he did this kind of before these tips and tricks from photos and Photoshop, you know, he was already kind of doing Photoshop before it was even invented, just through a painting. Okay, we'll watch some of the history during class. But for now, we have um, the five, uh, the bullet points about him. So he was a Belgian artist, he painted in surrealism. Okay, he didn't get famous until he was in his 50s. But that's cool. Okay. Again, his work is very witty. It kind of helps us question what's happening. What, why is he making the choices that he does in his paintings? And um, again, we challenge the viewer's perception of the world. When we're looking at something, are we seeing really what we're looking at? Or are we seeing the illusion of something? Okay. That's what we got with that painting of, of the pipe. And this is not a pipe, you know, like it looks like a pipe. It's there. I could tell I'm looking at a pipe, but it's really the illusion of a pipe. So it helps you question like what is real in front of you and what is not. And that's pretty much it. I hope you liked Renee Magritte. See you next time.